Hey guys, this is Avenator here today, and today we're going to be doing a review on React OS 0.4.10. So, basically, um, if you're new to my channel and you haven't been watching some of the older videos, probably close to six to eight months old, um, you probably have no idea what React OS is. So, basically, React what React OS is is this is kind of out of the, out of nowhere um, a description, but just to get started. React OS is a Windows oper uh, a operating system. To, uh, it's kind of a mock-up of Windows, but it's not. It's built completely from scratch, and it's supposed to be designed to run Windows software natively. Right now, they're up to Windows 2000, Windows 2003 um, application compatibility, but they're getting better. The OS is getting better and better and more compatible with newer software. So, um, the last release, 0.4.9, was back in July, and I didn't do a review on that, but I am starting to do reviews on the next, the next releases, every release, which is like er quarterly. So, this release is 0.4.10. So, I already have the ISO for the boot, not live part of the version. So, we're going to go ahead and start it, and I'm going to take you through the setup process pretty quickly. And yes, there is a plane, if you can hear it. Okay, so basically, um, this is the setup process. It's pretty quickly. It looks literally like Windows XP setup. Um, we're going to go ahead and select English, install, install. Um, nothing new there. Um, you do have BTRFS, but I'm not going to try that because I've not had any... Uh, good success with it. So we're going to just do fat. Go ahead and do that. Hit continue and it goes, it's going to install pretty quickly, which is kind of nice. We're almost halfway done. Um 60 70 The OS is actually only about 130 megabytes. Install boot loader, enter, restart, blah blah blah, usually things that is good for OS setup. React OS boot. I've actually not tried this. I, ju I actually just downloaded this right before I did this video, start of this video. So I've not actually got an idea on how this goes. So that's that. I'll go ahead and get into it. Next. Sevenator, boom, default, Eastern time. Um, there is a new modern theme. I don't know why they have it. Don't have it in there. We're just gonna go. Let's just stay with the classic, typical, typical stuff. It's gonna restart again. I've done this process so many times because you have to, once if you do something dumb with it, it'll. BSOD and corrupt itself pretty much and you have to reinstall it so that's that okay and there we go we're done um it'll be interesting to see what new stuff they have um so let's see here Let's go ahead and go to control panel and look at system. So there's nothing new from what I can tell. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but it's fine. Okay, that's pretty much it. So basically React OS, um, it's, it's, pretty good operating system for what it is especially with the time that's been put in it and the small number of developers so yeah it's pretty it's pretty incomplete for sure but it does have a database of applications so you can download things you actually can go on the internet there is some browser that you can download and things like that internet um you have Mo mozilla firefox you have opera these different all these different browsers and stuff um 
it's the, the it's not a very good experience though because it is limited to one pro processor so only one core and if you have threads one thread of that core so kind of even limited even more but that's that um i want to see if you're stuck to the start menu the older start menu but there is a new theme that they have called the modern theme so where is it classic theme modern they do have the modern theme in here which is clo pretty pretty decent it's not the best and it's very glitchy but it is kind of nice to have see here it's like that um next thing um, the network connection, I do have an internet connection, so it does support it, like I said before. And it's actually reporting Windows Server 2003, NT, aka NT 5.2, Service Pack 2, Build 3790. So this is the uh, stuff right here. This is just basically the OS. Um, but yeah, you have all the applications and things like that. It's very similar to Windows 2000, honestly, more than XP, especially with the UI. But you have a few default programs, some games, just basically everything in Windows 2000, honestly, except for a few things that I haven't implemented. And it looks the the start menu looks exactly like Windows 2000. But um, here's the README. But that's basically React OS. So um, I they do have a video that explains all the new different features and stuff in this new release. So I'm going to cut to that video af right after I get it loaded. So I will see you guys in just a few seconds. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I've got the video loaded, and as you can see, it's React OS 0.4.10 Improvements Overview. It's only a minute and 30 seconds long. It's going to explain the improvements in this release over the old releases. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, BTR. So the first thing is BTRFS boot support, like I did point out earlier in the video. You do have BTRFS. It says ReactOS can now be installed and booted from the BTRFS volume. See this CSOC video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, from my what I can tell, BTRFS is uh, similar to NTFS in a way. As you can see here, um, you can now cascade on or tile multiple windows that's actually a good implement oh that's cool you can now cascade yeah that's actually nice okay so you I guess you right click the taskbar react OS diagnostic tool properly shows a complete file system information So, I think it's going. I think it's raining outside, for me. But basically, what that does. Oops. Um, VirtualBox. It shows all the correct information. I'm guessing, which is nice. Customize the folder icon. That's oh wow. You know what? That actually is a good feature because you could possibly. What's the file that they have the icon in? Shell.32. Um, you could possibly use import Windows icons into React OS and change the icons to Windows icon. That would actually be cool. Definitely leave a like and comment in the vi in the at, in the video. Um. It's saying if you want to see me try and import Windows icons into React OS, definitely leave a like and comment for that. 
Um, previous releases, many installers used to render incorrectly. Um, thanks to font improvements, most of these dollars render it properly. Okay, so they did some font stuff. So you, as you can see here, the fonts are really weird. And, oh, that's cool. That's nice to have. And basically, that's it. So, it's basically it for React OS. Um, uh, so, that's, yeah, that's it. So, there you go. That's pretty much an overview of React OS 0.4.10. And, definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm trying to do some more tech videos on my channel because I do like doing it. And React OS is... Definitely promising for the future if you don't want to deal with Windows 10. Um, I'm only doing it because I'm kind of forced to with my schooling and many programs not working on older releases. So, yeah, def definitely do that. Leave a comment in the comment section giving me feedback on my videos. And pretty much that's about it. I will see you guys in the next video or tomorrow depending on how the daily videos continue to work out. Bye.